Smokins or whatever the hell it stands for because I don't think anyone even remembers anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, a new report shows that non-fungible tokens or NFTs, the entire market has essentially collapsed. Nearly all NFTs that were ever sold are practically, practically, are practically valueless. In fact, someone did some math, all right? A new study has shown 95% of NFTs that were ever sold are actually valued at zero dollars. More than $23 million were invested into NFTs over the course of about a, a two-year period. And all of that money has been completely erased. Do you remember when Ubisoft actually was internally developing games based around NFTs? Remember, was it, was it Tom Clancy's... Um, it was one of the Tom Clancy games. And they were like... Oh, yeah, so there's an NFT that you'll get for your character. And then if you get it, then you can sell it to other other players and stuff. Can you imagine a video game where as you play it, you earn NFTs for playing. And then those NFTs are unique and you can sell them to other players. So not only are you investing time into the game for fun, but you're actually getting a money investment out of the game as well. And do you remember when I criticized that and I said, how many gamers do you realistically think play video games because they expect a money investment to pay off at the end? We're playing it for engagement and fun. We're not playing as a money investment because there's something in life you could actually do. I don't know if you guys heard about this. There's a little concept, okay? You ready for this? There's a concept out there. I don't know if you've heard of it yet. That you can actually do something like some kind of task uh, or work and you can actually earn pay for it. I don't know if you've heard for this yet. That you can actually put in some kind of effort into some kind of a practice or, 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 or you know, and then you get actual monetary compensation after the fact for what you've done. It's called a job. And that's what you should do. If you want to make money, you get a job. You don't play video games and try to sell NFTs based on what you earn. You actually get a job, a guaranteed employment opportunity where you'll be paid for what you work for. You understand? People don't play video games to earn fucking money playing them. <laughs> what the fuck were these idiotic game developers thinking? I don't know. But of course, it's not just game development. I'm, I'm just saying... Uh, I'm just saying that, you know... It's ridiculous that game developers were actually going this route. They genuinely thought that they could design entire video games around NFTs and it would go well. And now we're, here we are, two years into it, the entire market is gone. You know, no one talks about it anymore. It's dead. The whole idea was a moronic thing to begin with. Who the hell cares about a digital item that's unique because it has some kind of an auto-regenerating key associated with it? Who gives two fucks, right? Like, for example, this is a... a microfiber cloth now this is the real one in my hand but you can own an nft of this microfiber cloth for five dollars and i'll just take a screenshot of this and send it to you with a auto generating key to prove that it's the original screenshot that i took on my stream and i'll you know you pay me five dollars for it now what do you do with that nothing you fucking moron it has no value no one cares anyone could have taken a screenshot of the stream and oh it's maybe not the original nft but who fucking cares it's the same screenshot that's the problem with NFTs. They have no intrinsic value whatsoever. If you say, oh, it's a unique item for a video game. Yeah, but it has to be for something that someone would care about. Like, for example, right now in Street Fighter VI, if someone could get an NFT item that was godlike and gave you double health, you have a double health bar, and you can use that in any mode you want, including ranked play. I bet people would want that because they say, man, I'll pay $100 to have double health for the rest of the time I ever play Street Fighter VI. That's, it's unfair, but who gives a fuck, right? So that's what I mean. But that's not what they were offering. They were offering these cosmetics and this nonsensical stuff that has zero value. <clears throat> so no one cared. 